All right, so we talked about consistency, but the other thing that goes hand in hand with consistency is engagement. Engagement is so vital for growing your online presence and to get the most eyeballs on your content. I always say social media is a two-way street. You truly get what you put in. You can't expect to hop on Instagram, post something, and then leave the platform never to return again until the next day. And then just kind of hope people engage with it. So I would encourage you to take 15 to 30 minutes every single day to go through your social media to-do list. And I will leave a link in the description to the free download for this checklist so you don't have to memorize anything or write anything down. You can just click on it, download it, print it, easy. First, check your inboxes. If it's been a while since you have checked your social media inboxes, you could have leads just collecting dust in there. Search and follow industry-related hashtags for inspiration and for the opportunity to comment and engage with other people's posts in your industry. Make it a point to comment on five different posts. Join industry groups on platforms like Facebook and LinkedIn, share your insights, get in on the conversation. This is so important for name recognition, building trust, and positioning yourself as an expert in your industry. Comment on five friends posts just to stay top of mind. And this doesn't have to be business related. And actually it shouldn't be business related, just human related. Oh, your dog is so cute. I just want to squish him. Oh my goodness. That vacation looks amazing. Will you please send me a link to that Airbnb? Tag people in posts, whether it's somebody that you partner with in your business. So again, if you're a realtor, you could tag your loan officer, you could tag your home inspector, or you can do a small business Saturday series. This is awesome because you get to highlight or shout out a small business in your area and tag them and then they will most likely engage with that post. Follow five new people a day because when you follow people, they usually follow you back. Scroll through your main feed on whatever platform you're on and like five posts. Scroll through Instagram reels and just, you know, keep an ear out for if the same audios are coming up or the same, you know, video meme is coming up a lot and consider jumping on it. And finally, when you post, and I'm talking about Facebook and Instagram here, add it to your stories. Stories last for only 24 hours, so they don't have to be curated and, you know, a big to do. Just post something and then share it to your stories. And when somebody goes onto that platform, your little profile picture will be on the top and highlighted, keeping you top of mind. And a quick note here, I know that it can seem like spending this time on social media every single day is such a time suck, a waste of time, a killer of productivity, but I want you to change your mindset around that. We're talking about social media for your business. So think of your time on social media as market research. Think of it as brand building. Think of it as free marketing for your business. That is worth the small time commitment in the grand scheme of things that you're gonna put into it. All right, now let's move on to episode number eight where we will talk about finding an accountability partner.